Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to crochet the easier than easy blankets. It is, it's quite easy and it works up rather quickly. Um, if you are a beginner and you know the basics such as single crochet and double crochet, you'll be able to do this because you're going to have to do double crochet two together or three together, but don't worry. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very, very simple. If you can double crochet, then you can do the double crochet three together. So beginners are always welcome in the advanced. This is always something fun for you to do to work up quick and easy. So it's fun for everyone all around. So uh, let's talk about size. So my measure is, the, if you want to get it approximately 52 inches wide and about 60 inches tall. Okay, so that is the size we're going for here. I will give you the multiple so you can always adjust the length. Um, of your chain and that multiple to make it a different size if you choose but isn't that pretty I like flex though in the yarn okay let's do it as always though I'm going to ask you not to forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn your notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my great awesome tutorials and check out my hundreds of tutorials that I have already I have anything that you could ever want to make in multiples of them all right give this video a like as well if you like it okay let's go ahead and get started so for this project i used caron sprinkle cakes now this is a super bulky number six yarn you don't have to use this yarn um you don't even have to use a super bulky six because like i said i'll give you the multiple and you can adjust but if you want to follow along with me i used a super bulky number six caron uh sprinkle cakes the, and it's a 77 acrylic, 20% wool, and the other fiber, of course, is the flex that are in it. Um, and there are 193 yards per cake. And you're going to need a, just about, it took about uh, 10 cakes. So you're going to need a, just about 2,000 yards to make it my size of a super bulky six color I have is called a raspberry truffle of course you can use any color that you wish okay and then I'm going to be using a size in which is a nine millimeter crochet hook that's for the super bulky six so you want to use a five weight I'd use a six and a half millimeter if you want to use a four weight I drop that down to a six millimeter crochet hook all right I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make the easier than easy blanket all right so this stitch is done in an even number of stitches any even number that you like so if you want to make the use a different size yarn than me or you want to use make a different size blanket rather than you know you don't the 52 inches is what is what the the length of the chain right now and then the 60 is the height that we work on or you want to make use a stitch for something else any even number of stitches following along with me though i chained 102 so we begin and we do our chain of 102 if you're following along with me All right, so I'm going to show you on a smaller scale. But once you get your 102 stitches chained, what you want to do is single crochet in the second stitch from our hook. So remember, we do not count this one that's on our hook. So there's one and there's two. We go right into that second one and we single crochet. And now we're going to work across for row one and we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch of the chain just like this until we get to the end of our row so row one is just one single in every stitch until you make it to the end all right when you get to the end following along with me you should have 101 stitches now so let's go ahead and start row two. So we are going to chain one and turn our work. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. It does not count as anything. So we'll just pretend like it's not even there. So we're gonna go right here into this very, very first stitch and do a double crochet. So yarn over, go into it, 
and do your double crochet like that and now we're going to work a double crochet three together okay this is how we're going to do it we are going to yarn over we're going to go back into this very first stitch that we just double crocheted into and draw up a loop and then we're going to yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook and then we're going to go directly into the next stitch we're going to yarn over go into the next stitch drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook and then one more time we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch and draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook and you'll have four loops that remain yarn over and go through all four loops and chain one just like that now we're going to repeat that so we are going to yarn over and we're going to go right back into the same stitch as our last double crochet we're going to draw up a loop and we're going to yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook one more time we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook four loops remain yarn over and go through all four loops chain one just like that and now we're going to repeat that again that's what we're going to repeat all the way down so we're going to yarn over and we're going to go right back into the same stitch as our last double crochet so we yarned over go into that stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook again we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook one more time we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops you'll have four loops that remain yarn over and go through all four loops and chain one and we're going to repeat it again i'll show you one more time so we are going to yarn over and we're going to go right back into the same stitch as our last double crochet drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops yarn over and go into the next stitch drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops one more time yarn over and go into the next stitch drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops four loops remain yarn over and go through all four and chain one so we're going to repeat that pattern until we get near the end of the row all right i'm coming to the end of row two and i just did a double crochet three together and i'm going to chain one and i have two stitches that remain see them right there that's what you should have so this is how we're going to go ahead and end it we're going to do another a double crochet three together so we're going to yarn over go right back into the same stitch as your last double crochet drop a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops yarn over and go into the next stitch drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops we're going to yarn over and go through the last stitch drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops four loops that remain we're going to yarn over and go through all four here's the difference do not chain one 
yarn over and go right back into that same very last stitch and do a double crochet. There it is. Now following along with me, you should have 50 of these little triangles, the little double crochet, three togethers. I call them little triangles. Okay, now row three is the repeat row, so it's just a one row repeat. We're just gonna keep repeating row three until we get as tall as we want it to be. And it's essentially pretty much the same that we just thing that we just did on row two. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna chain one and we're going to turn our work. Chain one does not count as any, anything. Okay. We're going to go right back into this very first stitch and double crochet. And now we are going to do the double crochet. Three together. So we're going to yarn over and go right back into the same spot as our first double crochet. Draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops. Then we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into the top of this double crochet three together from the previous row. So this big stitch right here. Yarn over and go through that big stitch. Draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops. And then we're going to yarn over and go into the chain one space here that we made from the previous row. So right through the space. Draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops, four loops remain, yarn over and go through all four, chain one, and we repeat. So again, we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into the same spot as our last double crochet. So right here, draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook. And we're going to yarn over and go into the top of this double crochet three together from the previous row. Drop a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops. And then again we're going to yarn over and go into this chain one space here between these two triangles. Drop a loop Yarn over and go through the first two loops. Four loops remain. Yarn over, go through all four. Chain one and repeat. So we're going to repeat it again. Yarn over and go through the same spot as our last double crochet. Draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops. Yarn over and go into the top of the next double crochet three together, so a little big spot right there. It's kind of a big opening. Drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops. Yarn over and then we go into this chain one space right here. Draw up, yarn over, go through the first two. Yarn over, go through the remaining four. Chain one and repeat. Let's do it again. Yarn over and go to the same spot as our last double crochet. Drop a loop and go through the first two. Yarn over and go into the top of the double crochet three together from the previous row. Drop a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two. Yarn over and go into this chain one space here. Drop a loop. Yarn over go through the first two. Four loops remain. Yarn over, go through all four, and chain one. And we're going to repeat this pattern until we get near the end of the row. And your little triangles, as I call them, or your double crochet three togethers, will always be on top of each other. See that? So I'm going to keep repeating this until I get to the end. All right, I've come to the end of row three and I did my last, my double crochet three together here. And again, I have two stitches that remain. So I'm gonna chain one after that one and I'm going to do a double crochet three together again. So I'm gonna yarn over and go through the same spot as my last double crochet. 
and then the next stitch and then the next stitch and we end this the same way we ended row two do not chain one here we just yarn over and go right directly back into the last stitch just like we did before in double crochet and again you'll have 50 of these little triangles and that is it you just keep repeating row three back and forth back and forth now if you're following along with me you will always have 50 of those little triangles back and forth back and forth so again for row four we just repeat row three by chaining one and turning double crocheting back into the same stitch and then we do our double crochet three together starting back into that very first stitch and then into the top of the triangle or the from the previous row and the chain one space from the previous row see how easy this is chain one and do it again once you get the hang of it it is going to fly by now you want to do this if you're following along with me until you get to about 60 inches or however long, tall you want it to be just like that see that that's simple stuff isn't it so i hope you enjoyed my tutorial remember this does look the same on both sides that's always a plus when it comes to blankets when they look the same on both sides so yeah like i hope like i said i hope you enjoyed my tutorial and i hope that you were able to follow along okay please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button and check out all my hundreds of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tutorials that i already have and lots of yarn content too educational yarn content so next time until i see you next time have a good day everybody please stay safe okay bye guys